Legit and um, welcome back to another video. Now, I might be in a little bit of a weird place. Oh no, let me just clean out my inventory here. That's not right. But uh, we are in a dressing room. Um, you can hear all the villagers outside getting ready because today is the big game. Yes, today is the big game. We've been training our whole lives. And we finally get a chance to show our skills in the most tough, in the most grueling one on zero hockey game you will ever see. Because this is the hockey mod. Oh, yeah. So it's actually called the field ball mod. But basically, it's, it's basically is hockey. Um, but it's got a lot more items than just a hockey stick and a ball. Which I will be going through today, and I'll show you a little bit of demonstration. This mod is great if you like have, if you have a bunch of friends who you'd want to, you want to, you know, you have a bunch of friends who like hockey. Maybe you've always wanted to play a hockey game. They install this mod, and you can. So the map I'm in right now, this isn't my map. I made, I didn't make this map. The map download will be in the description below, along with all the mod information down below in the description. Go look down there if you're interested in downloading this here mod. And I suggest you do if you really like hockey, because this is a great mod for people who like hockey. So here we go, we have, what is this? One, two, three, five double chests full of stuff that we can go through. So let's just jump right into it. So, um, yeah, before I start, this is my first ever more review and I was thinking hockey season's coming back for those of you who don't support hockey you won't know but for me I support hockey um, so yeah I know that hockey season begins on October the 8th very close very very close my favorite team um, although it, it probably isn't going to be other people's favorite team. I just gave myself a mistake. Jeez. Uh, it is my favorite team. It's the Vancouver Canucks. My favorite team because it's um my hometown. So what can I say, right? I mean, I don't want anyone to take uh, to get an opinion of me just because you know I have uh, my favorite team is the Canucks, but. You know, my favorite thing is the Canucks. So let's have a look in this chest. So we got quite a lot of things to go through here. Um, got the benches. Quite a few things to go through. And I'm going to review them all. Hopefully in under 10 minutes. So in the first chest, we have everything you're going to need to set up the rink. Now, um... First of all, you, you can't have a hockey game without having a net, one of those nets right there. So how you make one of these? Um, you got this crafting match, you got a goal. You you take two of these special items, net, and you surround them in ironing. It's like this in a crafting table. So picture this little 3x3 um, three three spaces crafting match, and you will get one of these goals right here. And it looks like this when you place it down. It's 3x2. Three, three awesome little goal right there and you have to break this corner right here for it to actually break kinda like vines you have to break the top piece and I think I just found a glitch you can get two goals out of one wow. anyway the way you get the nets is you just surround a insect with string around that so you're also gonna need some boards because you don't want you know uh, it going out of play very often so what you're gonna need for that is three blocks of iron and two iron and three iron eights on either side and you'll get this item called a rink which is basically just the boards around the ice rink and of course to make the ice itself you're going to need this floorball field of course, not actually field it has the physics of ice i don't know why they just didn't just call it the hockey mod and just kind of retexture some of the textures but whatever and all you need is just regular stone so you're going to have to smell some cobble you know if you want to get this and then some light blue dye and you get your floorball field now, um, the next chest is to start, you're going to need, now to play, you're not, you need more than just a field. 
You're gonna need you're gonna need your balls, hockey ball that you play with, or the hockey puck. Uh, it's not a hockey puck in this. It's a ball. It's called foil ball, and you can make a lot of different colors of balls. Now, to make these, all you need is just an item dot ball dot name ball, and some and a die, and then you get certain color balls. But the thing is, is this at the moment not not that I saw, along with a couple other items in this mod, do not have a crafting recipe. So if you want to play your game, you're going to need to be in creative. Change yourself to survival, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But, um, basically you're just going to need a ball. And I don't know how to get it. You know, it might spawn maybe in some dungeon chests or something like that, but no idea how to get it. There's no crafting recipe that I found. Basically, if you want a ball, you need rose red, blue ball, lapis, cactus green for green, and orange dye for an orange ball. Very basic. We're going to take all of these, and maybe one white one as well, because you can actually use these white ones as balls if you want to kind of, you know, be better. And don't, you know, laugh when I say balls, just because. So now, um, in order to actually play the game, you're going to need some hockey sticks. Uh, those are all in here. So, um, all of these at the moment are called Slaming Quest 2, for some reason. They have Kick Zone, Tip Curve, and certain knockback levels. So, how you get one of these is, what you're going to need is a Q2 shaft. No crafting recipe for that either. Green Grip. Um, I'm pretty sure there was a crafting recipe for that. And if there is, I'll come back at the end of the video and show you that. And, of course, the green blade. And that gives you the green hockey stick. Red gives you the red. Blue gives you the blue. And orange gives you the orange. So you got four different types of hockey sticks, but they don't just stop there. You can make up to 16 different types of combinations, and I only just got a few in here. You can get a red grip and a blue blade to get one of these. Orange grip and a green blade to get one of these. A green, uh, a green grip. Red blade to get one of these, and a blue grip, orange blade to get one of these. And let me just show you how they look. Pretty incredible. It's actually, you actually hold it like a real hockey stick. Quite incredible. It actually looks like you're, you're playing hockey. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing the game, guys. So, that's that. But then the final things we need, crafting, um, crafting recipe-wise, is... This right here. So, you're gonna need a line brush. And I'll show you exactly what this line brush does. Um, oops, let's do that. Uh, let's just move these up here. The line brush does something pretty interesting. Okay, and that's a crafting recipe a stick, feather, and almost die. You get the line brush. Very nice. But then we got these two items here, which don't have an which don't ha actually have a texture to them. It's a field cleaner and a field builder. Now we're going to take both of these items and we're actually going to go into the technical side of this mod. So let's go over here and I will meet you back in a sec. Alright, so here we are. There are a lot of villages around here. There's a village right there. A village right there. And we were just at a village. Wow, there's a lot of villages. Okay, so we got this field cleaner and this field builder here. And I'm going to show you what both of these do. So, you take the field builder, you're like, ah, it's fun in this super flat world. I'm so bad at building concubrinks. I need something to help me out. You take one of these bad boys right here, and you right click the ground. You get a 3x3 three three space. You do that along here, like this. Like this, like so. And you've got these. See what I mean about the uh, physics of ice? But anyway, now you got yourself a nice little field. You can extend this. Extend it. Extend it like that. Boom. 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 Like that. Like this. Awesome, right? I mean, that's not the best of rings. But you don't just stop there. You No. No. We don't just stop there. You also got this line brush right here. Now this is a pretty amazing brush, cuz 
what you can do with this is you can make lines. Now it takes a little while to actually get the line that you want. But eventually you get it. So you can get that, you can get that. All sorts of different types of awesome line designs there. I just cycle through the majority of them. So you can do this. And of course in the center what I forgot here was you can do that. Right in the center there. So you got that. So you got your lines. But let's say, let's say, um, oh. Let's say, oh, um, we got this and we got this. But I don't like how long it is here. You click this field cleaner right here. You just right click the ground. And boom, it's gone. No more. It takes out a... But the thing is, it doesn't just stop on the on the ring. No. You can take out ground. Oh. You know what I forgot to show you guys? I forgot to show you this rank. Basically, it has the physics of stairs. But basically, you just place it whichever way you're facing. You um, place it. You can also break it. So you're facing that way. It, it uh, goes like that. You're facing, uh, say, this way. It goes like that. This so on and so forth. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Oh. And it also is a quite a challenge to break. Very hard to find hitboxes on these things. So yeah, that's the rink. GG. So this rink was de developed by the guys who actually made the mod. And so you guys did a really good job on this mod. Um, maybe you could make a proper ice hockey version of it. That would be really cool. But for the moment, we got it. And there's also a little bit of like a rendering. I don't, I don't know if you call it issue with the boards, but as you can see, if you turn the right way, you can kind of see the boards are kind of removing themselves while you run past them. you far enough away, and you have the right perspective. But that's not a problem, because we can still play. So as you can see, they've used the, the line maker, they've used the goals, and they made a, quite a nice arena in this village. You know, this, you know, all villages should have arenas like this. Think about that. So, we play the blue ball. This is what it looks like. Uh, I chose myself a nice green hockey stick here. Um, but basically, this hockey stick, what does it got? It has knocked back one. You can just punch this ball here. The way you want to pick it back up, by the way, is you just right click it, go back to your hot bar here. Basically, I like this a lot. It's basically an entity, but with slowness. So if you take a villager and give him like slowness 100, can't move at all, basically he'd turn into this thing. But they've made it. So I think they based it off of a silverfish, not sure. But um, they made it be able to be this small. And then with the hockey stick, that's the kind of knockback. If you, got it, you can knock it. Get it right in the way. Nice shot, and you can get score. You can score goal. Yeah. So what we're gonna try and do here is we're gonna put one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. So you've got all these lined up. I actually think this one needs to be moved. All of them lined up right here, in front of the goal. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to take our hockey stick here. We're going to try and put, starting from the red one, we're going to try and get them all in the pig, pig, get out of here. The thing about the hockey stick as well is the fact that the knockback doesn't just work on the, um, on the uh, hockey pucks, or the hockey balls, I should probably say. It also works on other mobs and animals, so I can knock this pig back. Pretty far. But that's not what the hockey sticks intent is are, are intended for. I think they also have full durability as well. But these also have full health, so no matter how hard you hit them, if you hit them with a diamond sword, they won't die. 
The only way you can get the max is if you pick them up. So we're going to try and get a score with all these. I think we're ready to start. We got zero goals, but zero misses as well. So that's good. That means we haven't shot yet. Alright, the red one. Alright, red one. We're going to take our attempt at goal. It's a shot. Ah, that is so bad. Oh no. Didn't go far enough. Okay. You, you, you. I think we need a better hockey stick. Take a shot. Two misses. Maybe if we took a, a ring. Start. Goal. Yes. We got a goal. Oh yeah. That's two misses, one goal. So I think we. I think we need a running start. I think a running. I think we need that running start. All right. <coughs> I missed. Jeez. That's another thing about the mod. Is you can move these guys with your feet. It's just they usually teleport back. Go! We did it. We did it. Can we make it three, goal, uh, three goals? Two misses. In the end, can it all come back? Can it all come back? It's all down to, the, it's all down to you, Mr. Green. It's all down to you whether we win or not. It, it, it's a goal! Yeah! It's a goal! 3-2! 3-2! Two, three, two. The goals beat the misses by a score of 3-2! It's the greed! Oh yeah! <laughs> So yeah, that's the hockey mod, guys. I really hope you did enjoy. And if you did, make sure to leave a like. That'll really, really, really help me out. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Put my computer to sleep. That'll really, really help me out, guys. Um, this is my first ever mod review. I should be re reviewing some awesome mods in the future. Um. Now, of course, I got that cool scoreboard up there in the corner. I can't point to it. I can't do that. It's up here, up, up here in the corner. That scoreboard. If you like scoreboards, then uh, you'll love that, right? I do like scoreboards. If you like this mod, of course, download link in the description below. So, get it and also get this map because this is a great map. It was made very well. And on that note, guys, I will see you all next time. Like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And goodbye.